So we're off on a trip this week. Um, I'm still like a kid when I go travelling. I've been fortunate enough to um, travel around the world uh, several times. And, uh, but of course this time we're travelling within Australia. We're not heading overseas this time. We're travelling over to Northern Territory, which is a first for me. Never been there. Um, but I'm still like a kid. Get excited to head up on a plane, look out the window and particularly uh, flying over Sydney. I think Sydney is such a, a gorgeous looking city. Um, not the uh, not the biggest city in the world by, by global standards, but um, still very pretty uh, when you see it from the air. So we're heading out of Sydney. We're going to head uh, about three hours uh, the flight took um, out west. Uh, and when you get out that way, uh, just before you get to Uluru, down there in the, um, just behind the, the plane's engine, you can see Mount Connor, which is quite often mistaken for Uluru. In fact, they call it Fuluru because uh, it looks quite similar uh, from uh, ground level. There's Uluru uh, sitting in the desert, looking uh, majestic as always. Um, hundreds of miles of uh, just red desert and then Uluru. Um, now we know why they call it uh, the Red Centre. Anyway... Um, after three hours flight, time to uh, get down on the ground, uh, make a landing, get checked in and uh, get into the video. Here we go. So we have just uh, completed the flight uh, from Sydney to Uluru, uh, here for a couple of days uh, and uh, it's actually my birthday so I just decided to get away for a couple of days. What better place than to try and get across to the middle of Australia. I'm here with a great group of people and uh, we're going to try and get some shots of uh, Uluru itself, Katajuda, we're going to take a drive up the Kings Canyon. Uh, we've got sunsets, sunrises, we've got galaxy shots, we've got it all happening here. So, uh, looking forward so much to the next couple of days. Let's see what we can get. Um, if I can condense it all down to one video, I'll do that. Uh, if not, we'll get a couple of videos going here, but um, it's just looking amazing so far. Uh, a little bit of cloud in the sky, so hopefully we get a sunset tonight. Uh, anyway, lots of shots planned. So we'll take you along and we'll see what we can get. Okay, let's get checked in and get down to uh, the rock. We'll see you down there. Okay, we're here. Uh, checked into the hotel, ran along like a madman, um, jumped in the car, ran down to the sunset viewing area. And it's just looking absolutely spectacular. It's, it's funny because you don't really get a, um, an appreciation of, of kind of how special this place feels until you're here looking at this rock. It's, um, you can understand why it's such a high sort of cultural significance um, with the locals. Um, a lot of sacred sites around here as well, so you've got to be very sensitive about what you're, what you're actually shooting. Uh, we'll go in and take a, a bit of a walk around the rock uh, later on in the trip, but tonight we're just here to shoot um, two things. We're going to try and shoot the, um, the sunset. Uh, I noticed some sort of wispy clouds above the rock at the moment, so we might be lucky and get a little bit of colour above it. Uh, and then later on, once the sun goes down, <clears throat> we'll, we'll either stay here or we'll go across to one of the dunes and try and get a little bit of elevation and we're going to try and shoot the galaxy here as well so we're expecting to see the galaxy in all its glory and I'm going to try and cap capture the galaxy um, sort of immediately behind the rock in the galactic centre above the, uh, the rock itself so anyway, it's um, time now is about quarter past five so we've got about half an hour to an hour uh, before we get uh, true sunset so um, we'll just get set up, take a few test shots, and uh, wait for the magic to happen. Okay, we'll come back and talk soon. Okay, we're back, and the time now is uh, five minutes to six. Sun has just gone down, and uh, the rock is just absolutely glowing. It's quite incredible how, uh, how it changes color. Uh, the shadow of the um, where the sun has gone down has pushed the shadow right across to the bottom of the rock here, so. So the rock is still really lit up, but the, the foreground's all in shade. So um, the settings right now are f10, an eighth of a second. I'm still at ISO 50. Um, and uh, quite, quite a spectacular sight to see. Anyway, let's uh, take this shot. Check this one out.
Okay, so uh, Uluru at uh, sunset. It's just incredible. It's um, until you start to watch how this amazing phenomena just completely changes colour with the sun going down. Uh, you could see as the as the shadows moved across the foreground in front of us and reached the bottom of the uh, the rock itself, it just completely lit up. Um, an amazing phenomenon. So uh, the sun's well down now, so the rock's uh, uh, in shadow now. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hang around uh, because the galaxy is going to come up directly behind Uluru. Uh, and uh, the idea is obviously to, to capture the Uluru in harmony with the galaxy um, by, by about 9pm uh, and that's three hours away from now but by 9pm the gal galactic core is going to be about 30, uh, 30 degrees in the sky so that's going to be directly above uh, and probably leaning over slightly to the side as well so that's the idea um, and uh, we'll come back uh, probably in the dark and we'll, we'll try and get a shot then ok we'll see you then Okay, so time now is 6.35 and uh, I'm being lit by an iPhone torch because right now it's uh, getting very close to pitch black. The rock's in darkness now. Uh, astronomical twilight finishes at 7.25. So what we'll do is um, by 7.25 it's going to be really dark now and then we'll, we'll be able to see the galaxy. The galaxy is actually going to start uh, on the... Um, on the right hand side of the of the rook as we look at it and as the galaxy rises it'll move slightly to the left so by eight o'clock the galactic center is going to be pretty much right above uh, Uluru so I probably won't be able to talk through a lot of these shots because it's going to be pitch black and people are taking pictures so we don't want to have too many lights around so let's get some shots we'll put them up and uh, we'll come back at the end and we'll talk about it then okay cheers So you might remember at the very beginning of the video I did say that there may be just way too much to share in one video. So instead of uh, boring everyone to tears, what we're going to do is uh, split this into a couple of parts. And this will be part one of the Uluru trip. Um, the very next day we took uh, a sunset helicopter trip uh, and I really recommend it if you uh, have the opportunity to do it. What got me really excited was what you can see in the sky uh, above Uluru. The clouds decided to uh, come to the party for this trip. So uh, when you do a helicopter trip here they'll take you out to uh, Katajura first and you can just see Katajura in the distance there. Now. I thoroughly recommend if you ever come to this part of the world that you make sure Katajura is very high on your uh, priority list of things to see. It's a very special place. Uh, the geology is absolutely stunning, incredible. There are a couple of walks you can do around uh, Katajura uh, and I really thoroughly recommend it. So let's uh, start with uh, a quick shot 
from the helicopter of Karajuda. So once you've finished uh, looking at uh, Karajura, uh, the pilot will then take you for a flight towards Uluru. And just to give some scale to the place here, these sand dunes between us and Uluru are probably the size of maybe a two-story building. They're just enormous. Uh, anyway, let's start with the first shot of Uluru. What got me really excited about the sky was it just looked like a complete reflection of the sand dunes uh, between us and Uluru. It was uh, quite incredible to see. Just to give this some uh, perspective and some scale, you can see there's a small white dot in front of Uluru on the ground there. That's actually a coach that's parked in the coach park, uh, just to show how enormous this whole scene is. Uh, anyway, as we got close to Uluru, we were able to get a shot from the air. Here's another shot. Well, that's it. Uh, what an amazing flight. As you just saw, we just went out Karajura, did um, Uluru as well. Big thanks to Brendan from uh, Airdrock Helicopters. Um, <laughs> filled us in on all the details. Uh, and we just got some amazing shots of, uh, of, the, um, of both Karajura and Uluru. So if you like the shots, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do all that stuff. Um, we've got lots more coming. So um, we are now off for dinner because it's about 7 p.m. Uh, and we're going to, um, the sun is actually just dying. You might even, just before I go, you might even see a little hint of pinkiness out on the, out on the horizon there. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>